Good morning, DJs. It's Sunday 3rd of December, and today I have something different for you. We will be going on-chain to all kinds of chains. We will be looking into Ethereum, we will be looking into Arbitrum, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain to see which tokens performed the best during the entire week in terms of the buy pressure and in terms of the net experience buyers. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting from Ethereum, we are looking on the buy pressure from entire week. Ignoring the staked Ethereum, we have Ribbon. Ribbon is number one. Congrats. 2.8 million buy pressure for the whole week. And in terms of the holders, there were almost 300 new holders, plus 3.7 million liquidity added during the week, and the price moved. 21% up. Congrats to Ribbon, number one. Few words about uh, Ribbon Finance project. Uh, this is DeFi, DeFi yield earning uh, platform. Uh, they are offering like combined uh, vaults with structured crypto products, derivatives lending, on-chain options. Ribbon aims to be the one-stop solution for users who want to improve a portfolio risk return profile. So this is Ribbon. And moving on to the next net experience buyers, we have on Ethereum, Blockchain Bets. Blockchain Bets, BC, BCB, 655 net experience buyers, meaning buyers minus sellers. Almost 1,600 new holders for the uh, during the week. Buy pressure 560, uh, 536k, and price 76% up. We have also Jesus Coin. I'm not going to talk about Jesus Coin and Agora token performing very very well. 617 experienced buyers, net experienced buyers, and new holders 1,748. A lot, 1.4 million liquidity uh, by pressure, sorry, and 400% price up. Moving on to Arbitrum chain. What was going on Arbitrum during this week? We have clear winner, and this is winner token, guys. Winner token, 4.3 million buy pressure during the week, 72% uh, plus and almost 3,000 holders. Amazing, congrats if you hold winner. I think we covered winner uh, some time ago during the episode. And in terms of the net experience buyers on Arbitrum, the same winner, the same winner, it's winner. And 1,420 net experience buyers. So people are buying like crazy, 22 million market cap. In terms of the winner project, this is like the infrastructure for decentralized casinos, for the gambling, for the games industry. They are offering a solution to generate random numbers on chain, trustless way. So for projects like Rollbit or other uh, casinos on chain, other random games where they need random uh, number generation or any other mechanisms, winner is the one to go. So bullish, bullish. Sports betting platform, yeah. Betting platforms for on-chain games, betting mechanisms inside the on-chain games. There you go. Really cool project. Moving on to Polygon. Guys, on Polygon this week, in terms of the buy pressure, let me ignore Chainlink and real USD wrapped BTC. Nakamoto Games, Nakamoto Games, the ticker is Naka, 624,000 buy pressure, buyers, net experience buyers, buyers 542 and new holders 1389, the price plus 17% during the week. And on Polygon in terms of the buyers, also, Nakamoto Games is the number one uh, net experience buyers from the week 542. Very nice, very nice. Nakamoto is great gaming project. They are. This is like the platform for web-free gaming, 
uh, they have the whole portfolio of games as far as I know and the chart is going just parabolic parabolic so congrats if you hold Nakamoto games uh, it's currently at 134 million market cap and let's have a quick look on their website there you go there you go so there are all kinds of games free to play play to earn free to earn games all kinds of stuff great platform great project i think they have still a long way to go although i don't have a bug and i would not buy into this chart i would definitely wait for a correction and then potentially jump in all right so that was Polygon and we can move on to the Binance Smart Chain. And what was happening on the Binance Smart Chain this week in terms of the buy pressure number one is LSD. LSD uh, with 2.4 million buy pressure, uh, 59 holders only, liquidity plus 1.9 million and the price reacted with seven, minus 7.8%. 7 so this is very interesting. Uh, I'm wondering how this is possible with such a buy pressure, probably because of the uh, liquidity added. So that, that, that was a juicy liquidity pool that was added uh, into this token. Only 6.5 million market cap. There is something, uh, something is not right. Something is fishy. So this is the LSD project, Web3 Digital Asset Management Platform. It doesn't look great. There is like something wrong with this. I don't know, guys. This is the this is what we have. We trust our data. Number two is paid network. Paid network with 1.3 million buy pressure this week. Also very nice. Paid network is the project from Kyle uh, Chassis Chassis, and there you go. It made like seven x from the bottom almost. Very nice. And moving on to the net experience buyers on Binance Smart Chain, we have BitX Exchange with 1,011 net experience buyers. So seems like there were not too many sellers this week for this token. It's only 14 days old and market cap is only 1.8 million holders, 3,611 holders for only this week and buy pressure was 130k price 5x during the week let's have a quick look on the bitx exchange 14 days old very fresh i have no idea what is uh, what this is honestly this is bitx global exchange um, i don't know doesn't look great for me but metrics are metrics we are focusing on the data uh, be careful whatever you are doing be careful i'm not a fan of this token honestly at this point would have to do some more digging some more research if this is legit project or not all right guys that's it for today we have seen which tokens performed the best during this week on different chains arbitrum polygon binance smart chain and ethereum mainnet so enjoy your weekend have some time with family friends Take care. Bull market is creeping up, guys. Bitcoin is knocking, knocking into the 40k level. And guys, whatever you are doing, be careful. Do your own research. It's not financial advice here. So big boy pants on and have a good one. Cheers.